Okay. So um, let's start here with um, a theoretical yield problem. Okay. So <coughs> it says here the theoretical yield of iron was 30 grams. Okay. So 30 grams of iron. Um, let's make up a question. How many grams of aluminum did we start with? Okay. Is everybody okay with that? Let's try that problem. So, what did it say? The theoretical yield of iron is 30 grams. So, the mass of iron, 30 point, it actually says 30.0 grams. Okay. So, do iron and aluminum weigh the same amount? So, we got to convert things from mass units to what units in order to mole units, right? Why mole units? Because mole is uh, an amount, right? It's like counting things, okay? So instead of weighing these two things, which would be the, pra the practical way of doing it, because it's in the lab it's easier to weigh things than atoms especially than to count them, of course, right? <coughs> we have to convert from weigh to counting back to weighing, okay? So that's what we're essentially doing. So how do we convert from mass to moles? You guys remember? So what we're trying to figure out is the mass of the lumen, right? And we've got the mass of iron. You guys can help me anytime. It's all being recorded, so. So molar mass, very good. So. Grams on the bottom, right? Grams of iron. One mole on the top, very good. And that's going to be one mole of iron, right? It's uh, good for you guys to put the iron there, just kind of in these conversion problems, because we're going to go to aluminum in a sec. You know? So we've got to make sure that we're talking about iron or aluminum. So now we've canceled out grams of iron. But remember, we're looking for mass of aluminum. So have we gotten that yet? So what do we got to do now? Mole to mole. So figure out the moles of aluminum, right? So what's the mole to mole ratio here? Or yeah, or a two to two. Let's just keep it. Just just keep it two to two. Because why? Because the coefficient here is two. The coefficient here is two. Okay. So. 2 mole Fe, 2 mole Al. And you guys are right, it's a 1 to 1 ratio. Okay. So have we figured out the number of grams of Al yet? No. What do we do? Smaller mass again, right? What is it? How do we find it? Look at the periodic table, right? 2698. So. Are we at mass of aluminum yet? Yeah. You guys think you can do that on your own? Just remember, this is what chemistry is all about. Once you learn the periodic table and once you learn canceling units, you should be able to do anything in chemistry. Okay, so let's do it together. 30 times 2 times 26.98. Okay, that number divided by 55.85. That number divided by two. And what did you guys get? 14.5. Why only that many sig figs? Because you started with 30.0. Yep, because you started with three sig figs. Congratulations. So, if the theoretical yield If the theoretical yield of that is 30 grams, then you must have started with this many grams of aluminum. That's what it said. Does that make sense to everybody? Are there any questions before we kill this video? We'll do a percent yield on next. Okay? Question? Yeah. Um, why did you use two moles AL? Are 
why did we use two moles of ale here? Because uh, it said the chemical equation is balanced to two to two. If you wanted to, you could say a one to one. It's the same, right? Because two divided by two, of course, equals one, right? Um, but I just like to, uh, especially with introductory or general chemistry students, just keep it um, what's presented as the uh, on the chemical equation, and it really, you know, makes your your job a little easier, you know, so you don't have to always take ratios and stuff. Does that answer your question? Yeah. So you take this from the problem. Yeah, you take it from the actual chemical equation if that's what you were asking. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other questions? <coughs> okay, cool. Good job, guys.